Welcome. This is a 30 minute yin yoga style deep hip stretch. This isn't intended for anybody who is on the inflexible side. This is definitely an intermediate advanced class for flexible people to help release tension and stress from the hips and lower back. We'll begin just finding a bit of movement, just bringing some movement into the body, circling the waist, feeling out all the clicks and ticks. We'll come back to center. We'll inhale the hands up overhead. Exhale, side stretch towards your left. Inhale the hands back up. Exhale, side stretch towards your right. Inhale the hands back up. Exhale, twisting towards your left. Inhale to sit tall. Exhale to soften the shoulders. Inhale, the hands reach up. Exhale, twisting towards your right. Once again, lengthen through the spine as you inhale. Exhale, softening the shoulders. We'll go ahead and release. If you're not cross-legged yet, we'll go ahead and cross the legs. Sitting up tall, begin to hinge forward, leading with the chest, stopping wherever you feel the stretch. No need to go into the full expression of the pose, just stay wherever you feel most comfortable. And of course, if any of these poses do feel too intense or not right, come to something that feels best for you. We only want to feel a stretch and nothing more. We'll begin drawing the breath into the belly, expanding the lower back as you inhale. As you exhale, softening the belly the legs, softening the body wherever you can. We'll inhale, gently release. We'll just switch the position of the leg. So if the one leg is crossed over the other, just switch them. And again, just leading with the chest, folding forward, stopping wherever you feel the stretch. Utilizing your inhales to really create that space. Using your exhales to completely let go. We'll inhale, release. And we'll prepare for our cow face pose, taking the right heel to the left hip, left heel beside the right hip, and just sitting up tall, removing the flesh from your seat. Staying here if this is enough, or begin to hinge forward. 
leading with the chest and you can always place a block underneath the forehead for a little more um, support. And again, really creating that space within the lower body, expanding the lower back with each inhale. So just feeling the waistband of your pants getting tighter here with each breath. each exhale doing your best to surrender softening the body wherever you can maybe the feet the toes the ankles maybe even the forehead We'll gently release, switching sides, so just crossing the right leg over the left, so that the knees are pointed forward. Sitting up tall, removing the flesh from your seat, and whenever you're ready, just take a fold, if that feels right today. Observing the body, reacting less, observing more, and just Connecting with how the body feels. Checking in with the body. And we'll gently release, take a moment, and we'll come into a tabletop pose, sliding that left knee towards the top of the mat, just between the hands, for your pigeon pose. Doing your best to take your chest down towards that left calf. Inhale as you lift through the sternum, coming all the way up. 
So the closer that left foot is to the right hip, the less of a stretch you'll get. So if you want a little bit of a deeper stretch, just pull that foot more in line with the left knee. Now you can stay here rocking side to side, staying here as long as you need, or you can go ahead and fold over that left leg. Using your breath, create that space, softening the body wherever you can, taking this time and using this time to connect deeper with the body, checking in with the body, being present here with any sensations. Wherever you are, we'll gently just lift our torso and walking the hands over towards the left so that you are just kind of melting over that left leg. Now this part is completely optional. It'll just get a little bit deeper into the uh, right side body, right hip, right side of the psoas. And maybe drawing the breath into that right side body, expanding the right rib cage. As you exhale, softening the torso. And we'll gently release, coming all the way up, maybe shaking out that left leg. Take your time. Whenever you're ready, we'll just slide that right knee between the hands, taking the right heel towards the left hip, or you can just take that heel in line with the right knee, whatever the body needs today. Staying upright or feel free to fold forward, stopping wherever you feel the stretch.
option here to just take a little bit of a side stretch walking the hands over towards the right folding over that right knee right thigh naturally the breath will start to expand the left rib cage creating that space in the left side body doing your best to keep that left hip nice and square And we'll gently release. Shake it out, take a moment. And when you're ready, we'll send the hips towards the heels, forehead or cheek to the mat for child's pose. Option to even take the knees a little further apart if that feels good today. Just taking a moment here to check in with the body. I know pigeon pose could be a bit of a back bend if you're upright, if you're lifting the torso. So just take this moment to really surrender in the spine. Nice counter pose. and we'll gently release. Coming all the way down to our backs. We'll bend the knees and just crossing the right leg over the left, dropping both knees over towards the left, back stays flat on the mat you can even take the elbows in line with the shoulders for a bit of a deeper stretch in the chest really using your breath creating that space in the body notice checking in and noticing wherever you're holding that tension maybe the chest is a bit tight drawing the breath into the chest expanding the ribs maybe feeling yourself lift as you inhale and as you exhale, completely letting go.
We'll gently release, switching sides, crossing the left leg over the right, and then taking both knees over towards the right side. Coming back to center, we'll hug the knees in towards the chest, grabbing the outer edges of the feet, bottoms of the feet to touch, or open the feet for happy baby. Option to gently rock side to side. We'll hug the knees in towards the chest. Give yourself a big squeeze, good hug here. Give yourself a pat on the back for showing up to the mat today. 
And whenever you're set, we'll take the feet to the bottom of the mat, hands to your sides, palms facing up, preparing for Shavasana. We'll just take a quick moment here to check in with the body, to observe the body in its fully relaxed and present state. A moment for us to truly soak in all the work we just did and to just be. Know that this space is here for you anytime that you need. We'll rest here a few more moments. We'll begin to gently wake up the body, wiggling the fingers and toes, rocking the head, maybe bending the knees, rocking the knees side to side. We'll roll over towards our right, take a full inhale, and exhale, coming to a comfortable seat. We'll inhale the hands up overhead. Exhale, heart center. Thank you for joining. Namaste. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like it below, subscribe to my channel, and hit the bell icon so you don't miss any updates on future videos and live streams.